and I don't see how we can't be happy about that. Decomposing uh, in the It should. afternoon good evening raider nation as you know we are in a world of turf exclusives i'm going through every player on the roster ladies and gentlemen please believe it yeah it's gonna be tough so this is a new episode and um, I'm, I'm actually more excited than I initially, you know, planned for this. I actually was talking to my brother. Shout out to the Raider Syndicate, you know. And I had some ideas, you know. It's like, ah, a lot of these guys, we're not going to know, you know. I said, you know what? I said I was doing this, so I'm absolutely going to do it meaning going through each and every individual player no matter how much or how less we know of that particular player uh, it's exactly what we're gonna do so without further ado as you know Jacob Bobenmoyer very interesting right <laughs> shout out to Jacob Bobenmoyer look I, I actually tell people um, there are there are definitely three positions in pro football that are primo. Uh, a lot of people don't look at it from that perspective. Uh, clearly, we're talking about special teams, right? So no one really thinks to believe they can make a career out of it. But I was very fortunate to uh, play with the guy, of course, at Montana State University. And he was a linebacker in college. But junior college, high school, he was also a long snapper. But when he got to Montana State, for whatever reason, maybe we had a, a long snapper, what have you. Uh, and he was very important on the defense, uh, defensive side of things. You know, that was uh, what he did most. This young man's name is Kenny Amato. Shout out to Kenny Amato. He played in the league for over a decade as a long snapper, ladies and gentlemen. And believe it or not, after college is when he actually got signed by the Titans, I believe, was the first team that he was signed by. Let me make sure I'm right with that. Because, again, this came... This came after the fact, right? This came after Montana State, meaning we had already gone through. I think he already graduated. Uh, but, yeah, he played in the league for a very, very long time. Um, and I believe he's a current uh, defensive assistant coach uh, for the Dallas Cowboys as we speak. Uh, yeah, this is our guy, man. Uh, he's, he's one of the uh, bright spots of Montana State as far as when I played. Uh, clearly, he made it to the NFL, uh, and it was as a long snapper, ladies and gentlemen. So shout out to special teams, long snappers, short snappers, right? You know, place kicks, all of that good stuff, because that stuff matters. Uh, it, it means something. And Jacob uh, Bobin Moyer, he's, he's our guy now. And, I mean, every team needs one, right? You know, it's... It's par for the course. There's no team that doesn't. It just depends on how you utilize them. Um, I know for a fact that Kenny Amato was not only just a long snapper for the Titans, but he was also, I want to say, second string and goal line. Uh, and in fact, he may have even been first string in spe specific sets of goal line. So there you have it. I mean, if you want to try to find a way to sneak your way into the league, um, you know, go about trying to snap that ball. 
it's not as easy as it looks, I'm sure. Uh, you give it a shot, and you'll understand. But what I found interesting about a lot of long snappers, you know, clearly they're obviously good sized, but they typically always come from that linebacker position. Uh, you know, at least that's my experience, I should say. I don't know for a fact, right? I haven't dug deep in, uh, you know, long snapper history and, and, you know, figuring out, you know, that's actually a good chat GPT deal. But yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, our guy, he's played for the Broncos, right? Uh, and let me, you know, I guess it's time. Dive right on in. Let's go. Here we are. His stats, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to go through these fairly quick. Uh, I don't think we need a whole lot um, when it comes to discussing this young man. But uh, long story short, he's actually a Wyoming uh, kid. Graduate, uh, he's born born in uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Went to Cheyenne East High School. Uh, my uh, roommate was born and raised in uh, Jackson Hole. So I got a chance to, to hit up that uh, Wyoming life, if you will. I also used to drive from Denver to uh, Bozeman every semester with my guy, uh, Walter C. Robinson. <laughs> Shout out to Big Walt, Big Dog. Yeah, it was too expensive for me to fly into Bozeman, so I would fly into Denver on the cheap, and then he and I would drive through Wyoming. Oh, did that way too many times. Uh, but, yeah, long story short, that's where this kid is from. Uh, played his college ball at Northern Colorado. Again, a school that I know about, obviously, due to my uh, roommate being in that part of the country. Not many are going to know and understand much about right uh northern colorado if you will i couldn't get his stats up as far as what he did in college but what i do know is he actually played both sides of the ball he was a uh linebacker as i stated uh when it comes to a lot of these long snappers for whatever reason they typically fall on the defensive side long snapper you know big body guy um but he was also a tight end so you know, hey, there you have it. Uh, and as you see, we are looking at his stats. And really, all oh, we're really, you know, worried on our, our special teams, if you will. So we're just going to briefly go through this, right? I mean, he's played or been available for every game, as you can see, for Denver. Um, and he's actually got stats for Denver as far as uh, tackles are concerned. So, right, you're long snapping for punts or missed field goals, right, whatever the case may be, uh, you got work to do. You know, yes, your first and foremost priority is absolutely to snap the ball. Nobody's looking at you to do anything else other than that perfectly every time. Very, very important. You're talking about milliseconds on, you know, getting a block, whether it be a punt, whether it be a uh, field goal, however you see it, right? So... That's the first and foremost thing, but obviously being able to tackle, get downfield cover, et cetera, is a huge plus. And as you can see, you know, he's pretty decent. I mean, he he's averaging, you know, two tackles a game. Again, ladies and gentlemen, it's, we're, we're grasping at straws here, right, as far as, you know, coming up with, uh, you know, what, what these guys can do when their priority is – this important you're not you're not looking at you know expecting a lot out of this person so you know he's averaging two tackles you know two assists I, it's not much here ladies and gentlemen but what is key is the uh percentage right of special teams and as you can see over his career he's had a lot of snaps 528 snaps over his career Obviously, most of those coming with Denver in his first three years uh, playing with Denver. But for us, he's already got 141 snaps. So, you know, that's uh, that's pretty interesting in my book. Um, I think that's, that's solid. Um, you can't ask for more when it comes to your long snapper. I mean, rarely do they miss games, right? They shouldn't. Because that's their only uh, real you know job if you will but let's you know let's dive into these 
stats on the, you know, on the level of specifically uh, what he's done. Again, you're looking at not much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's a long snapper. <laughs> But you can still see the breakdown of the solo tackles, assists, right, based on him being in Denver. And then his last year with us, he's had one solo tackle. So these are the stats for, you know, a long snapper. Uh, you're not going to get anything extravagant. Um, but I must say this position is absolutely imperative, absolutely imperative, and a must-need, a must-have right there's uh just no way around it no way around uh not having this position there's no way uh it's in special teams is 100 percent a third a third of the game don't let anybody fool you and, and, and let you lead you to think that that's not the case it absolutely 100 percent is the case that's just what it is so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. So, how do you grade a long snapper, right? Have we had many botched snaps? Anybody recall our long snapper uh, causing problems, wreaking havoc, not doing what he's supposed to, messing tackles when he does have a shot? Nah, we didn't. We didn't have any of those kind of problems with Mr. Jacob. Bobin Moyer, uh, none of those problems at all. In fact, he was solid for Denver. I'm going to say he's been very solid for us. Uh, it's only been one year. And I haven't dug deep right into the tape. But nonetheless, I mean, we're not, we're not hearing any complaints about our long snapper, right? And again, I just want to make sure I reiterate that this is absolutely a very important position, more than you could ever imagine. And if you have a long snapping position problem, yes, it's absolutely going to rear its ugly head at some point during the season. And it will not bid you a good day at all. You can pretty much expect a turnover or two. And as you know, in the NFL, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't take much to lose a game. Every single team is capable of winning on Sundays and Mondays and Thursdays, for that matter. Uh, and even Saturdays, right, when we start getting to that championship, that championship level gaming where, right, the wild cards and all that good stuff start at the end of the season. So it's very important. It's imperative to have, you know, have this, this solid to where you don't even have to think about it again i was very very fortunate to play with my guy kenny um he's he's one of those dudes that gave us insight you know and again i mean ladies and gentlemen if you have a son you know that's trying to play and hey his his goal is just to get there and to by any means necessary these are things you can discuss right special teams is huge absolutely huge i've already went over our guy abdullah i mean he's a staple for us there and, and it, i get it people don't you know it's not a sexy topic uh but it's absolutely a third of the game and you absolutely better be solid or else expect to win and lose some games right on special teams it's just a part of it so i am going to leave him you know, I'm going to give him a solid grade because there's no reason to to give him a terrible grade, if you will. Uh, and that's going to be a B. I am giving him a solid B. Uh, I, I hadn't seen anything wrong, you know, as far as any of his snaps, any of his takes, none of that stuff, uh, you know, reared its ugly head and you know he didn't make he didn't lose us any game so solid B for our long snapper Jacob Bobin Moyer and uh, yeah until the next player ladies and gentlemen turf is out peace. <laughs>
session, you guys know. <laughs> so.